In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get Kason on your iOS device without computer or revokes, allowing you to download any IP file that you guys want to download effortlessly. This works for any iOS version, including the latest one, and the process for this is very simple. So the first thing you guys have to do is go to the developer's official website, which I will leave a link for in the description down below. So I'll just open it up here. And this is essentially the actual developer. And if you guys scroll down, what you have to do is click on install DNS profile. And then it'll say this website is trying to download a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? Click allow. And then it'll say profile downloaded, review the profile in the settings app if you want to install it. So what we have to do is we have to go into the settings app and then in the settings app, just click on profile downloaded, click on install, enter in your passcode, and then you'll get a little warning. It doesn't mean anything. Click install, click install, and then you'll see profile installed done. So now if we scroll out, we'll see bypass and we'll see the developer's name. So what you guys can do is this is just simply a bookmark. So you guys can start using this bookmark here. And then, yeah, it'll lead you back to the same page. And what you guys want to do is scroll down and you see signed app. You'll see a bunch of these apps over here. But what we need to do is e sign bypass revoke under here. And so what you guys have to do is essentially just try one of these five K signs. So you'll see one that's National Science Library, Vietnam Technological and Commercial Joint and then the original group, the V1 version and V2 version. So uh, just remember that if one doesn't work, then just keep trying the other ones until you guys find one that does in fact work. And you need to make sure that you guys keep a note of which one you are downloading, which is this kind of text over here. Um, well, I'll just click cancel here for a second. You got to make sure that you keep note of that since that will come in handy. So the one that worked for me the best was V1. So I'll just click on download here and then click on install. And then if you go to your home screen, you'll see it installing. And as you guys can see, it has in fact installed, but if you guys click on it, it'll say untrusted enterprise developer. And as you guys can see, what you have to do is go into your settings app and then trusty certificates. So you guys are going to go into general and then go into VPN and device management and then go from there. And I'm just going to do that. And it does prompt you to restart your device. So I'll be back when I restart my device. So once you guys have restarted, all you have to do is just look for the K sign app here. And then as you guys can see, it will load. You guys can just check everything here and it'll show everything will show up and all you have to do now is just make sure that you guys do import the certificate otherwise k sign will not work so if you click on certificates here you'll see that it's empty so what you have to do is essentially just go back into this bookmark here and then scroll down until you see download certificates and so just click download on this here click open in and then click save to files and then all you have to do is just click on save. And so I already have the file. I'll just replace it for the sake of this video. And what you have to do now is go into your files app. And then the zip file here, what we have to do is click on it here. And then as you guys can see, you have the zip file here and you'll see a bunch of certificates here. There's about 14 certificates here and we need to import one of these into the KSign app. So what we have to do is go back into the KSign app, click on certificates, click on the plus icon here. And instead of importing a certificate file or a provisioning file, what we have to do is import the KSign file. So click this over here. And so now what we need to do is just click on the KSign file that worked for us when we downloaded the file. But before I do that, I just want to let you guys know that you guys will not be seeing these many certificates. The reason why I'm having uh, double the amount of certificates, you'll only see half of these is because I've already extracted a zip file before that. So now it's just showing a double of these same certificates. So you guys will only have one of these. And what I mean by clicking on the case sign file that worked for us is when you guys clicked on this over here, or sorry, in the original website here and under uh, eSign bypass revoke, whichever one you click to, so you guys can see national science library. And then there is a case sign file for that. So if that link worked for you, then you would click on the national science library. But for me, since the case sign V1 worked, for example, with this case, all we have to do is just click on 
k sign v1 here and then you see an expired 153 days that doesn't really mean anything and so now what we have to do is just sideload an ipa what we can do is go back to the home screen which is actually just files and then in files what you have to do is click on that plus icon here right in the top corner click on import files browse downloads and then i have my ipa file here old os ipa you just need to click on that over here and then what you're going to do is just click on open and then as you guys can see under ipa downloads it says oldos.ipa you're just going to click on this ipa here click on import to library and then it'll say successfully imported old os ipa to library and now what we have to do is go to the library section and then you'll see your imported app over here and it'll appear just under the downloaded app section you're just going to tap on this here click sign and install and then click on start signing and then you'll see this little page here and what we have to do is just click on install here and now if you just swipe out and look under your downloads it should take a moment to pop up and as you guys can see my ipa has in fact downloaded if i click on this here it will work just like it is intended to you can click allow here whatever and yeah the ipa does in fact work and this is a really quick and simple way for you guys to download ipas and there's no revokes and this doesn't require any computer either making this one of the better alternatives anyways i hope this video helped if it did please leave a like and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this then leave a comment down below and thanks for watching